including the favored Concern, have chosen to journey northward for the seventh Molson Export Million. Today, they'll meet five Canadian homebreds at a mile and an eighth on the dirt for a total purse of $1 million and, of course, the cross-border bragging rights. He's certainly uh, run his race. If he runs the race he ran in Fort Erie back, uh, he'll be tough. Uh, of course, the competition is it's a bit of an unknown, but there are some super horses up from the States. Certainly, Concern is probably in the top three or four horses in North America right now. Dramatic Gold was just beaten by Best Pal. Um, the other horse, uh, unaccounted for, beat Tabasco Cat, so it's, a, it's shaped up as a really tough race. Well, we did have a long trip. Dramatic Gold uh, took a long time getting here, but we're here now, and he loves it. Um, we're hoping to uh, beat these three-year-olds. We ran third in the Pacific Classic against older horses, and uh, the mile on an eighth race seems to fit my horse, uh, Dramatic Gold, to a T, and uh, we're hoping to get the money here in Canada. Well, of course, you know we're running a three-horse entry in there, uh, the most prominent of them being Basquien. He's training great into the race. Uh, he seems to be a, an improving horse all the time. He may be better now than he was for the Queen's Plate. Uh, I think our Canadian horses are going to stack up very well against the American horses. We have a little bit of a home field at advantage, and we hope that'll help, too. Today, CBC Television Sports takes you to the races as we proudly present the seventh running of the Molson Export Million. Well, folks, we're a little late, but you're not going to miss a thing. Partly cloudy, warm, low humidity. I'll tell you, absolutely magnificent conditions for racing. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brian Williams, along with my partner, Jim Bannon. You had a glimpse of the new turf course today. The attention is focused on the dirt, a mile and an eighth, the seventh Molson Million. And Jim Bannon, this is a new dirt course as well. And they've done a lot of great things with this, Brian. They've raised the level of the track. That's helped the drainage. That means more fast tracks. The horses very much like that. They have precision turns now, and that helps them corner. And just about all year, I think the track has really been playing very, very quick. It's very, very quick today, and there's somewhat of a speed bias. And when you talk about a speed bias that helps the front runners, that's bad news for the late running concern. All right, you mentioned concern. Concern is one of six American horses. Let's show you the six previous winners, because the last four have been Canadian. And the first two, Ballandagan from uh, Seattle area and Prize from California. But the last four, as you say, as Vestia through Pitsky came out of the Canadian Triple Crown. And their last race, of course, was the Breeders over at Fort Erie. Well, it's an 11-horse field, eight Colts and three Geldings. And Jim Bannon, as I say, we're a little late, but let's meet this field for the 94 Molson Million. Six exports from the United States to face five homebrews in the Molson Export Million. Concern came into clearer focus when second behind the domineering Holy Bull in the Travers. And that link is magnified by his rival's demonstrative win in yesterday's Woodward Stakes in New York. Dramatic Gold has taken the same productive path to this event as the 1989 winner prize and has added more credibility with a stout third against older in the Grade 1 Pacific Classic. Unaccounted for had the distinction of beating the Preakness and Belmont winner Tabasco Cat when winning the Jim Dandy Stakes and only non-preferential footing delayed him in the Travers. Bruce's Mill made amends for his Queen's Plate second to Baskin by trouncing his arch rival with a career best effort in the Prince of Wales with the addition of blinkers and in a record time. Baskin became the only runner in Canadian Triple Crown history to capture the Queen's Plate and the prestigious Breeders while dropping the Prince of Wales. And he has emerged from the battle better than ever. Road Rush is diminutive in size but Herculean in spirit and grabbed winter headlines in Florida and after an interrupted campaign is now looking to show his real class. Nice to know a nimble winner of the McLaughlin Stakes will change his focus this day, sacrificing himself for the good of his entry mates by assuring a fast pace that will accent their late power. Golden Gear has been doing some fancy footwork in the United States in shorter events, but his biggest test today will be going farther than ever before and around two turns for the first time. Powis Castle exudes vitality, and after going unplaced in the Kentucky Derby in Preakness, he has regrouped with vigor on the turf in California with a view to this race.
Parental pressure was one of the best in his division last year and has guarded that status this season with consecutive third place finishes in the Queen's Plate and in the Prince of Wales. Alinar, a welcomed export from Chicago, is an improving son of the prolific Alidar and is just now realizing his potential. He has freshness as an asset and Michael Smith as a pilot. There you have it, today's 11-horse field. Five minutes to post for the 94 Molson Export Million. Let's go trackside. Here are Terry Leibel and Dan Kinney. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, we've been focusing on the Canadian scene, having just finished the Canadian Triple Crown. The last race was the Breeders' Stakes, and Basquian, who won it, emerged as a star, but he really had to slog it out in the heavy going in that turf. Do you think he has something left for this race? Terry, this horse has bounced back remarkably. He was so tired that they sent him to the farm by the second or third day. He was kicking the walls down. They brought him back to the track. Baskin has a chance. And Bruce's mill, by the way, we were just back in the walking ring area. He looks dappled, robust. He also is an impressive Canadian bred. He's done so well this year, but he's got a bigger problem than Baskin. He has to contend with a lot of speed. Nice to know from the Stronach stable, we'll go out, set an early pace to set it up for Baskin. Dramatic Gold has speed, Unaccounted For has speed. So. Craig Brett's got a real tactical problem with uh, the horse that won the track record time, Bruce's Mill. Yeah, but you know, you mentioned nice to know. That's the third of the three-horse Stronach entry. Now, is this the bullet? Is he going to set the tempo, and will that be fortuitous for Stronach's other two horses? Oh, this time, absolutely. I think uh, they wish they had done things a little differently down in the Prince of Wales with uh, uh, their supposed rabbit bond fleet, but this time, it's all systems go. I look for three quarters and ten and change, eleven and change, and he's going to pass the baton on to Basque and some we're on the turn. Well, talking about pass the baton, let's pass it up high to the grandstand and rejoin Brian Williams and Jim Bannon. All right, Terry and Dan, this race being simulcast at more than 300 locations around North America. One is Belmont and New York City. Jim Bannon, very quickly, let's compare the odds here at Woodbine on the left, New York on the right. The big thing you see, Brian, is that they don't think much of our Canadian horses in New York. Uh, Bruce has met a little bit of respect, but not road rush for sure. Surprisingly, unaccounted for from New York is a lower price here than he is there. Dramatic Gold from California is 3-1 to one here. But in Belmont, good appreciation of form there, just two to one along with Concern. Let me talk about Concern, the number seven horse. Yesterday, Holy Bull winning the Woodward and winning it convincingly. That really makes Concern greater by association. Will you explain, Jim? Several of the horses in this race, Brian, by association, tend to be good. Uh, as you mentioned, Concern came within a lip of that horse in the Travers, and when Holy Bull has already come back to win the Woodward and probably the horse of the year in the United States, that reflects well on Concern. Dramatic Goal comes out of a good race uh, in the Pacific Classic at Del Mar, and that's very important whatsoever. As we look at the post positions, Bruce's Mill, the horse that is trying to win Canadian Horse of the Year honors with Baskian has the inside. Talk to me about first Bruce's Mill and then go to the outside at Dramatic Gold. Well, Bruce's Mill has drawn tough. The inside post is traditionally poor on this course. First of all, because the footing down there tends to be less than perfect, a little bit cuppy. But also because so many horses in the race, there's going to be crowding going into that first turn. There's going to be outside pressure on him, and he cannot dictate his own fortune. Some of the other horses on the outside, we're seeing Dramatic Gold. He wears saddlecloth number nine. He comes from the outside. He has tactical speed. Because of the new banking system here, being outside is actually a help as we see the horses come up behind the gate. First horse just about to load. And Dramatic Gold comes off a very, very impressive race with older horses. That's the significant point. These are all three-year-olds. Granted, they're very good and from all parts of North America. But when you've already tested yourself against good older horses, that's significant. And the one thing to point out about Dramatic Gold is that race was at 10 furlongs and he tired only very late. This race is at 9 furlongs, more significant and more helpful for him. All right, as the horses load up, we promised you won't miss a thing. Let's go up to the voice of Canadian Thoroughbred Racing and Dan Loisel, it's all yours. Well, thank you, Brian. They're loading into the gate for the Molson Export Million. And what a race we have brewing here this afternoon. The speed of dramatic gold, golden gear, and nice to know against the come-from-behind power of Concern, Baskian, and Powis Castle, the most evenly matched field in the Molson Million since its inception. And the horse that's installed as the favorite currently at 9-5 to five is Concern. Concern is 9-5. to five. We wait on two horses. Prental Pressure, one of the Canadian hopes and one of the long shots in here, will be the second-last horse to load. And in the extreme outside stall, that's post 11, Dramatic Gold, 
with Corey Nakatani, owned by John and Betty Maybe's Golden Eagle Farm. Dramatic goal just walking into line. They're at the post. They're off in the Molson Export Million, unaccounted for, pinched back at the start, and Nakatani sends Dramatic Gold out running, and Cable's asking, nice to know for run early as they move in front of us for the first time. Nice to know the expected pace setter, but Bruce's Mill is closing up quickly on the inside. Mike Smith has Alinar up close early, Dramatic Gold just to the outside of Alinar. Golden Gear in behind a phalanx of runners, the first quarter was in 23 and 2 fifths. Unaccounted for is now in sixth position, back about six lengths off the lead. Then Powis Castle, parental pressure. Then Road Rush, Baskin has one horse beaten, and that is concern as they start their journey along the backstretch. It's nice to know, clear by two lengths to Bruce's Mill. Nice to know by a length and a half now, off a half and 47. Bruce's Mill is second. Dramatic Gold is third. Golden Gears back fourth, four and a half lengths off the lead. Unaccounted for is a fifth. Parental pressure gains ground in sixth. Powis Castle is seventh. Alinar asked to pick it up by Smith. He's not responding. Then Baskin Concern starts his run three-eighths out. They're into the far turn now. Bruce's Mills making his move, and so is Dramatic Gold out there three wide with a dramatic charge toward the leaders. And Dramatic Gold grabs the lead at the quarter pole. Bruce's Mill is second. Nice to know is third. Golden Gear is fourth. Powis Castle to the inside. Concern is closing, but he's got a lot to do. It's dramatic gold as they come to the final furlong, opening up a four-length lead on Bruce's Mill. Baskin, the Queen's Plate winner, is closing on the far outside, but dramatic gold overwhelms this field. Flawless in victory in the Molson Export Million. Bruce's Mill second and Concern third. Then gold Golden Gear, Baskin, Powis Castle, Parental Pressure, Road Rush, unaccounted for, the pace setter, nice to know, and Alinar finished 11th, 149 and four fifths for the mile and an eighth. Brian? All right, Dan Loisel, dramatic gold, the son of Slua Gold, and I said to Jim Bannon as they were loading into the gates, this horse comes off an impressive race against older horses, including that great superstar best pal, and that was obviously a factor here today. Very important, Brian, that he used the same path to come to this race that Prize did in 89. And as we said, uh, with the post position, he had a perfect spot on the outside and moved right at the perfect time. We'll watch the start now, and Dramatic Gold is uh, right from the outside in nine, and right away, Nakatani on the left side of the screen, the horse in the maroon and gold. He sent him right across the field and right to the contending position. Of course, the Strunic horse, nice to know. You see the little guy right in the middle there with the black hat. He was the rabbit for the other two parts of the entry, but didn't do quite enough to really soften all the big ones because horses with tactical speed, we said that at the outset, tactical speed was important on this course, Not not the type of style that Concern was using. When you have a horse like Concern, his late running style brings limitations with it. And the limitations are that without tactical speed, you often get caught too far back. They have about uh, two and a half furlongs to go now. Nakatani has sent his horse. Coming to the quarter pole, he's opened up two on Bruce's mill. And people were not only watching for the good horse from California who's in front, they were watching at the back for Concern coming from behind. And they were also watching in the middle for the Canadian battle that was brewing. Bruce's mill, could he beat the other horse, Baskey and his arch rival? Along the fence now and third in your picture, as you see, just coming up to the top of the stretch is concerned. Bailey could not go outside with him. He put him on the fence. He's third right now. But this race is all over. Dramatic gold after three quarters in 10 and four and a mile in 136. Already had four lengths on the field. Coming in second, we're going to see Bruce's Mill, a great showing by the Canadian. Don't forget, Mac won this race last year with Pietzky. Up on the fence, it looks like the number uh, seven horse is going to close. Of course, that's concern and grab third money. And in behind, we see Baskin to the outside, going to finish fifth. He in the blue colors in a battle there for fourth. A great, great effort. For you today, tell us about the race and tell us about the stretch drive. Well, he broke real sharp and uh, just pretty much let him settle around the first turn all the way to the 3 8 pole. And Turn it for home, I just said, come on, boy, let's go get them. And, and uh, if they were going to beat him, they had to pick up their feet to get him. Well, Bruce's mill was just out in front of you, and you were gauging him. Did that help you in terms of gauging the speed and in your effort today? Well, I, I think it, it was uh, the race. I was just going to let him run his own race. Uh, he came out of the gate real sharp, like I said, and 
and I just settled him nice and fine in third and he was pretty much real comfortable and uh, when it comes to the running he gave me everything he needed. Congratulations to you today. Thank you. Brian? Thank you, Terry. The son of slew of gold, a big gelding. In fact, gelding's finishing 1-2 today. Dramatic gold followed by Bruce's Mill will return to Woodbine after this. Well, he didn't like the distance of a mile and a quarter in the Pacific Classic, but he loved uh, this particular distance, and that's one of the reasons that he came here. And we should also pay attention to the Jockey Club for getting good horses, and Dan Kenny in particular for nailing this horse down to bring them. So live in Toronto, Dramatic Gold, the California Invader, the first American horse to win this race in five years. Bruce's Mill, who won the Prince of Wales, I would say stakes a claim to Canadian Horse of the Year. Concern, who ran that great Travers race, down through Alinar. Urgent